Hi, have you ever found yourself in a situation where you had to choose between saving your neck or risking it all for the Lord? Or a time, or a time where you felt this is something that the Lord wants you to do? Stay on with me today as we talk about a Bible character who went on to risk everything that he was to do what was needed to be done in our Bible banter today. The Bible character that we are going to talk about today is someone whose, whose appearance in the Bible is very, very brief. And yet this character appears in all the four, four Gospels. The character that we are going to talk about today is Joseph of Arimathea. Now Joseph of Arimathea is mentioned in the Bible uh, right after the death of Jesus Christ on the cross. And he did one particular act which is recorded in all the Gospels and that was he went before Pilate and requested for the body of Jesus Christ. Then he wrapped the body and kept the body of Christ in his tomb. Now that was the question that we asked last time. But then this act of Joseph gave him a place in all the four Gospels. Now in, in one way we can just say Joseph of Arimathea gave his tomb. What's so great in that? On the other side, when we look at the Gospels, it is interesting the way they have introduced this character, the character of Joseph. Now Matthew says he was a rich man or a rich, uh, rich and a secret disciple of Christ. Mark and Luke gives a very important information that he was a member of the council. John on the other hand, talks about that he was a secret disciple. Now, my dear friends, it is important for us to understand what it meant for him to be the member of council or Sanhedrin as it was called or as it is called. Now, the Sanhedrin was a group of highly respected and religious individuals in the society who worked as a final decision-making authority into that community. And Joseph was one of the key members or one of the members of the sanitary. Not only that, on the night when Jesus was caught and was taken for the trial, he was also made to stand in sanitary. So he, he, he might have been present when they tried to accuse Jesus with all the false accusations. He was also a secret disciple of Jesus, as mentioned by John. So even though he sat in, in the group of the Sanhedrin members, in, in the group of all highly respected people in the society, he followed or he believed in the teaching of Jesus Christ. So when Joseph stood in front of Pilate requesting him, can you please give me the body of Christ? He was not just doing uh, going out of his comfort zone, but he was risking it all for the Lord. Because he was revealing himself as someone who believes or follows Jesus Christ. My dear friends, Joseph of Arimathea never appears in the Bible after this incident. But he has been mentioned in all the four Gospels for what he did. It was also a time when all the disciples of Jesus were hiding themselves because of the fear that they had as Jesus was caught and was crucified. So it was a time for Joseph to really come out in the open, accepting that he is a disciple of Christ and do what was needed to be done. Joseph took a bold step. Joseph stood out from the crowd to do what was needed to be done. He did not hold himself back when the time for him came to do what, is, what was needed to be done. He just went all in. My dear friends, as we follow Jesus Christ, we do come across situations in our life where we have to choose between saving our necks or just standing up for our faith. What do 
we do in situations like this? Joseph rose to the occasion and did what was needed to be done. When we look around, we see so many opportunities and where there is a need for us to rise on the occasion to do what is needed to be done. How do we react in situations like this? Do we go all in? Or do we just save our neck? Do we look for the opportunities where we can make a big impact? Or do we just shy away saying, not my job? My dear friends, as we look at this character of Joseph, I would say, take a bold step. Trivia time! Well, this is one of the shortest video talk that's, that we have made. Uh, a very short one, but then the character of Joseph is an important one, an interesting one for us to learn from. Well, the questions that we asked last time, uh, the first question was, how did Jesus reveal who was going to betray him? Now, this happened during the Lord's Supper when Jesus was sitting along with his disciples and Jesus was talking with his disciples that someone is going to betray him. And when he said that, everyone started asking, Lord, is it me? Lord, is it me? And then when Judas asked the question, Jesus said, as you have said, this thing or this incident is found in Mark, oh sorry, in, in Matthew chapter 26, verse 25. The second question was, who gave his tomb so the body of Christ can be kept there? And the answer is Joseph of Arimathea. The questions for this week are, why was Paso celebrated? We see Paso celebration of Passover in Bible and why was it celebrated? The second question is after the resurrection of Christ to how many people did Christ appear? After the resurrection of Christ to how many people did Christ appear? Well that brings us to the end of this video. As always if you have been blessed, touched by this video please do like and share this video with your friends or any of the videos that we come up on with our channel. Uh, please do let us know in the comment section below or write to us uh, in what way we have been a blessing to you or any suggestions or feedbacks that you have. Have a blessed week and be safe.